So, supposed to be in Lake of the Woods right now. Not happening, as everybody in the musky world knows. Can't get across the border. We do begin with breaking news this hour. The Canada-U.S. border closure has been extended. Until September 21st, non-essential travel at the Canada-U.S. land border will remain restricted. Hey you guys, it's Jody Marler with Fish Camp and I have just got to say that pretty stoked to get this video out. We will definitely be fishing Minnesota again. So all of those days out on the water, Fish Camp Creative, we're constantly thinking of different things and coming up with different ideas to feed the fire. We've done several stickers that we're super happy to uh, introduce this year. So that is it super happy with that our uh scarface from last year our latest that i'm super happy about where's the musky lebowski anyways it's all of that stuff that helps feed the fire and keep us going go to our website fishcampcreative.com all of that stuff is available but let's get to this video and uh, see you guys on the water. All right, so today we are, all four of us, supposed to be on Lake of the Woods, and we all know that's not happening this year. So out with Doug Wagner, I'm supposed to fish with him on Lake of the Woods, and we're uh, back in Minnesota. So, um, Doug, what's the program for today? Well, we're, uh, we're adjusting. Obviously, we're not supposed to be here. Um, but we yesterday had a really good bite. We had a fish solo yesterday, kind of scouting for this trip. And oh, that was just you? That was just me by myself wow. yesterday. Um, That's a good day. But yeah, we I voted a 52, a 51, and like a low 40s or something wow. like that. But there was a storm that came in, and we're kind of still seeing the remnants of it right now. But basically, it's been full pause stuff. Um, the beavers were really good yesterday, but bucktails can fire here at any time too. So yeah. we'll rifle through the box and see what exactly. we can find out. Cool. Sounds good. There you go. That's uh, the right species. We've had two follows. We've only been out for half hour. They're still in the same spot I left them yesterday, but uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there, but toothy critters. Uh, yeah, so Joe was kind of kind of my end of the fishing industry, and it, it was one of those things where my dad's business partner was Joe's brother-in-law. Oh, really? And it just kind of worked out where, you know, my dad had instilled fishing in me at a young age, and especially musky fishing. And to, you know, when Joe was at kind of the height of his career, you know, it, it was so cool to meet someone that was kind of like an idol or you know, someone to look up to, and he kind of paved the, the path for me. Like, I wouldn't be where I'm at right. without Joe. Yeah. Um, it's been a really cool road, a really cool journey. I'm in my third year of guiding here. You know, and I'm loving life at 25 years old. Yeah. So when did you uh, start your YouTube channel? I started my channel in, I think it was 2016. Like a lot of my business comes through YouTube. It's a great source of exposure for me. Big one. 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 Big one.
XL Beaver. Um, this is an addition I put on here, this front hook. Just a little bit, it's an extra hook. They like to hit these things in the head. So sometimes they'll actually miss this middle hook. Um, 130 pound, 49 strand wire. Sweet fish. Ready? Get on the other side of me. 40, 47 and a half. How about that? Very nice. <laughs> awesome fish, thick one on the beaver. Is that your biggest muskie? Is that a 47? 47 yeah. and a half. 47 and a half is my biggest, so right there. Right there? I'll take it. Awesome fish. Get her back. Oh yeah, like shredded. She was just freaking out. That one caught me up. Nice, <laughs> nice work, James. Hey, now we can introduce Matt. Who is this guy? <laughs> He gave up on the bait, I guess. We'll do a full uh, interview. <laughs> we'll do a full interview later. I want to formally introduce my fishing partner, Matt Lemke. Uh, fished with Matt last year uh, at Lake of the Woods and great boat partner. He usually talks, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but I got a fish this year. Jody got all the fish last year. I think I got a 39 and 40. Yeah, right. last you got year. two 46s. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, canceled, so yeah. plan B was Minnesota. And that's a great way to start off the yeah. trip. <laughs> so, thanks for having me. <laughs> Still there. Out of the cabbage. Came out of it, didn't it? Yeah. Well, that's huge. Low 40s? Yeah. No. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. You gotta be right on the spot. <laughs> That's a solid fish, man. Eventually, we spend enough days on the water, cast after cast, that we get to experience something truly special. Not just a fish of 10,000 casts, but one of many lifetimes. We've captured our fair share of muskies on film over the last year and a half, but it's moments like these that keep our cameras rolling. Tagged too. Yeah, it's tagged. Is it really? Yep, it's tagged. Holy 
Right here. We gotta get a number. We gotta get the number on it. Yeah, bumps in the live well. Minnesota. Happy. Healthy. Holy crap. What a day. Um, I Matt just bagged an absolute giant. We haven't bumped it. It's got a 23 and a half inch girth. Um, I told the guys, and I think they'll vouch for me when I said this, we had these storms this morning. I said we're going to have a good shot this morning. And I said, it's gonna be really tough. We had the bluebird high pressure coming afterwards. And I told him, I said, we're gonna get a bite. It's gonna be at last light. Here we are, last light. Um, we're marking them on side imaging like crazy. And we just kept st just kept going on them. There's fish there, fish there. We just kept casting, made a couple bait changes. Matt picked the right bait. And boom, giant fish in the bag. It's 50 something, we'll, we'll find out exactly what. The really cool thing about this fish too is it's tagged. Um, this is a stocks fishery. This fish must have been captured in a net or something prior to this. We got the numbers already off of it. There's a small pink tag you can see right here in the back of her tail. So there's, it's like a five or six digit number. We got that. And then we'll contact the DNR, let them know the, the length and the girth of the fish. And yeah, we're gonna pull her out, get some picks and uh, let her swim away. Fifty-five. No, is it? Yeah. Fifty-five. Right there, bud. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Oh my God! There's your double nickel, buddy. Left, left hand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is an incredible fish. I've only had one other fish in my boat this size. It was a fifty-five, twenty-five out of Green Bay. Wow, this is a very special one. Very, very special one. Congratulations again, man. Thank you. Wow. She's close. Wow. Thanks, guys. That was unbelievable. Matt. James, thank you. Unbelievable. I'm still shaking. I don't know. I'm still shaking. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was awesome. That's uh, how many hours today? Well, we started kind of late. We started at 7. For me. 13, 7. 14 hours. And I was dying. Dude, you just changed that bait. I changed the bait and I downsized. You got action on, on blades and I went real small because honestly, my back was dying. Hold on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I was moving fish on blades and I told you guys like if someone wants to put a blade on, now would be a good time. Yeah. Dark, low pro or you know, smaller blades. Yeah. Made off great call on your part. I just told you to put a bucktail on. You you honestly went in your box, picked out your own bait. My buddy built it for me and I caught two other good fish on last year. So. Well that's a really 55? good one. 55? 55. Yeah. <laughs> By yeah. 23 and a half. Unreal. And it was that's tagged. Amazing. Dude, amazing. that's awesome. Muskies need as much help as they can get. So like being in clubs, you know, or working to volunteer your time, or, you know, help raise money. It's really on our part to be courteous of all the other anglers that are really out there right. so that we make a good name for ourselves. Exactly. I mean, we're out here fishing endless, countless hours. And sure, we, at times we can have a short temper if someone cuts us off or a walleye guy trolls close to us or a bass guy or something, whatever, but just you're representing the sport. Yeah, exactly. And it's really yeah. important to do that in a positive way. Two with Doug Wagner and Matt Lemke. Holy shit, what a day yesterday uh, for Matt. Uh, moved a lot of fish yesterday, and Matt was a lucky guy. 47 and a half and 55. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah.
Pretty little fish. Top water fish are so awesome. Oh, there she goes. All right, just wrapped up two days with Doug, and uh, pretty awesome, especially for Matt. That was <laughs> what the hell. One more today. Still has Doug. Said one on. more today. Just. Uh, it's speech. Oh, yeah, I mean, we're all kind of speechless. <laughs> we're kind of sleepy. Yeah, uh, we fished pretty hard. The guys stuck with it. Um, but no, what an incredible trip. I mean, to oh, cap man. it off with, with a fish like that. I mean, today was just a bonus. I mean, once we exactly. caught that fish, the trip was completely exactly. Made. Yeah, uh, and seeing all those fish up. yesterday and yeah, man, yeah, what a what a great trip. You know, coming from uh, we're supposed to be in Canada and here we are in Minnesota and. Super happy to be here and get that 55. That's just awesome, awesome. to be a part right. of a fish like that. So, right. Still yeah. doesn't seem real <laughs> at all. No, it, it, we made the boat, we, you know, we made the best out of our situation. Absolutely. Obviously, we, we would love to be in the woods, but at yeah. the same time, like our probability of catching a 55 inch exactly. in the woods is incredibly low, whereas in Minnesota, yeah. you know, we do, or they do grow fish this yeah. big, I should say. So we're all stoked about this and i want to mention a couple of uh brands out there that are doing great things thorn brothers is sponsoring this video companies like sims uh they do a ton i've been a fan of theirs forever um, and i love what they're doing in the musky world I do want to say that you know over this past year whether it's from our posts on instagram or our YouTube videos, a lot of people have come up to us, boat ramps, on the water, whatever, all over, and just say, hey, love what you guys are doing. So we love that, obviously. If you do see us, stop, say hey. We always have stickers, fish camp swag, so stop and say hey. We're happy to feed the fire. Anyways, thanks again, you guys. See you later.